Hey, Gary Baker here with 30minutemarketing.net. In today's quick video, we're focused and I'm going to show you exactly how to set up Cloudflare SSL with your Groove Pages site. What I'm going to show you is exactly what I have set up here inside of my Groove Pages for a site that I have on the domain 30minutefunnel.com. As you can see, this is in my free Groove Funnels account. You can create one more site right here before you have to upgrade to Pro. So you can see that this does work even if you're using the free account. If you haven't yet upgraded to Pro, you can see here this is what the site is going to look like, 30minutefunnel.com. I'll go ahead and I'll show you what this looks like and it is published and it is secure with Cloudflare before we move on. So you're here you can see I'm at 30minutefunnel.com. You can see the padlock right here. We'll go ahead and click on it. You can see the connection is secure. You can see the certificate is from Cloudflare ssl.com so the certificate the ssl is being served up by cloudflare so we'll go ahead and select ok now we'll hop over to cloudflare and walk through the settings and also show you the settings that you need to set up in namecheap as well so here you see inside my cloudflare account i have 30minutefunnel.com is active go ahead and we'll click on that and i'll show you the settings the settings we're concerned with here are dns here's where you're going to see the a record 30minutefunnel.com it is pointed to this ip address which is Namecheap, and I'll show you that in a second. But here's that C name for the record www.host10.groovepages.com. Again, let me show you exactly where that is found inside of Groove Pages. So inside of Groove Pages, once you create your page and you go up here to publish your page, you're gonna see instead of hosting it on groovepages.com, you're gonna publish on your own domain. You're gonna put that domain information in right here. And then this is where the information is that you need to get for setting up your DNS records with Cloudflare as well as Namecheap. And you're gonna to want to point that host10.groovepages.com that you see right there to a C name inside of Cloudflare and then make sure that your registrar, in this case, Namecheap has that information from Cloudflare. So here under DNS settings for 30minutefunnel.com, to add that C name record once this information is imported when you add the site, you would simply just click add record you would go down to CNAME. Here you would type in www. Here you would put in host10.groovepages.com. You would leave the TTL right there to auto and you would click save and it would set this information up for you right there. And then you would go down here and you would look for your name servers. And these are the name servers that you're going to need to put into Namecheap. Now let me show you where that is set up. So inside your Namecheap account, you're going to go to your domain, in this case, 30minutefunnel.com, and you're gonna scroll down here to where it says name servers. And this is going to be set to Namecheap basic DNS. So you're gonna to wanna to change this to custom DNS. And then when you change that to custom DNS, you're gonna see that you're going to paste that information in right there. And let's see if, if I was to remove that, you're gonna see there's gonna be a little green check box right there. So when you do that, you're gonna paste that name in there and you're going to simply click that little green check mark and that's going to save that information. Of course, here I'm gonna cancel that because I don't wanna change that information. And you're gonna see right there, eleanor.ns.cloudflare.com as well as the secondary name server right there. And you got that information from inside of your Cloudflare account. And this is how you would set it up inside of Namecheap to make sure that your domain that is registered with Namecheap, 30minutefunnel.com in this case, is pointing to Cloudflare. So now we'll go back to Cloudflare and here we were where we left off the Cloudflare name servers. We pointed the first name server and the secondary name server inside of Namecheap. So we have that all set up and it's fully propagated. Of course, take note that when you're doing this and you're doing this live, this can take 24 to 48 hours to propagate to get all this set up correctly. So just follow through with the steps, make sure you have the A record correct, make sure you have the C name record, Ignore all this MX record stuff and these text records. These are for email, so you don't need to focus on those right now. So just leave them as the defaults. Again, A record and your C name record with your IP address and your C name for host10.groovepages.com. Now let's move on and take a look at the settings that you want to make sure that you have. Take note that also when you add a new site, Cloudflare is going to give you a wizard where you walk through all these settings, but this is what it's going to look like when you're finished. So you can either skip the wizard, or if you use the wizard, just know that at the end of the wizard, you want your settings to look like what I'm showing you right here. Under DNS, you want an A record, you want a C name record. These are the only things you need to focus on. Make sure they're proxied. 
and make sure they're pointing to your registrar IP address as well as the host10.groovepages.com for your CNAME. Then move on to SSL TLS. Again, you pick this in the wizard. Make sure you pick flexible. This is going to encrypt the traffic between the browser and Cloudflare. So this is the web browser or the user. So when they make the request to your website, in this example, 30minutefunnels.com, it's going to ask Cloudflare. Cloudflare is then going to ask GroovePages. GroovePages is then going to respond back to Cloudflare. Cloudflare is then going to send the traffic back to the end user browser, and they're going to provide the green padlock or what is known as HTTPS or SSL TLS encryption. So leave that in flexible mode. The next thing you wanna do is make sure you have a page rule. Now this page rule is going to make sure that the website is always served up using HTTPS. So you wanna set it up just like this and replace your domain right here with where I have 30minutefunnel.com. Make sure you have everything else, this asterisk at the end, this forward slash, this asterisk at the beginning, HTTP colon colon forward slash forward slash and always use HTTPS. So for example, to create this page rule, you would simply click on create page rule. You would put in your domain name here. You would pick a setting. That setting would always use HTTPS and then you would simply save and deploy. Then that page rule will be set right here and it's always going to serve up HTTPS and I'll show you how that works right now. So open up a new tab in my browser and if I was to type in HTTP colon slash slash 30 minute funnel dot com you're going to see here I forgot the S and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit enter. Now you can see right there what happened is Cloudflare used that page rule. It redirected the HTTP to HTTPS, gave me the padlock, made sure my connection is secure and it's exactly what you want to happen every time you want to make sure that no one can access the page over http you want to make sure they have to use https and make sure they always get the padlock and get the certificate from cloudflare so again that's what that page rule does again that's page rules inside of your cloudflare account your ssl tls is flexible and your dns settings again are your c name pointed to host10.groovepages.com as well as your A record right here. And those settings for your Cloudflare name servers are given down here. And you just wanna make sure that you have this information set up inside of Namecheap correctly. Again, over in Namecheap, 30minutefunnel.com, scroll down, set it to custom DNS, paste those DNS settings in, that green check box will come up, click that green check mark right there to save those settings. And you are off to the races with your secure connection to your Groove Pages site right here, 30minutefunnel.com in this example. Here it is, published again to your own domain, 30minutefunnel.com. Utilizing these settings right here to publish a custom domain, you must create a C name, A name, or alias. Record with your domain registrar pointed to host10.groovepages.com. In this case, that registrar being Namecheap and Cloudflare being the piece that serves up the secure connection for your website. If this video was helpful, give me a thumbs up, 30 minute timer here on the end screen, click that, subscribe to the channel. For more awesome content, just like the other videos you see here on the end screen, click those, keep learning, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.